Hey all, this is Torn9 today. I wanted to discuss the two new draft modes for Versus that look like they're coming. Um, as you can see up on the screen here, we've got the uh, the CSV file from in the uh, Marvel Strike Force folder. Um, this is the one that's specifically to do with the Versus battles. Um, I've kind of only just went through and had a look at it. I was like, oh, I wonder if that stuff's kind of already in here. And yeah, turns out that a lot of it already is in here. Now keep in mind that this is data mine. Doesn't mean that it's coming. Doesn't mean that it's actually coming anytime soon. Doesn't mean that next patch that it's going to be either of these ones. However, it does look like at least they have them kind of planned out. Now, so this is the file here. It goes, goes through the classic draft, which is what we've got at the moment. They call it classic draft in the files. It looks like versus battle. Um, it's just the normal kind of pick and choose one that we've got at the moment. Um, everyone taking turns and blah, 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 blah. But then the interesting thing is that it then goes into detail on some of the other ones that look like they're going to be coming. So the first one here is Booster Draft. So it says Battle with Boosted Characters. Now I can't find any um, details as to exactly what that actually ends up being. Uh, it doesn't say in here Boosted anywhere else except for there from what I've seen. Um, it just says... Booster Draft, Boost with Battled Characters, Gear Tier 9 Plus, Booster Draft Detail. So it doesn't exactly say as to what they're going to be boosted to. Um, it would be interesting if they end up um, boosting them um, like to the point. So it would be interesting if they end up boosting them to like top tier. So that way you can kind of be able to see exactly kind of what they look like at their top tier. That way you can kind of test out teams and verse each other with top tier characters rather than kind of needing to rely on your current characters. It says here gear tier nine plus. So assumedly you need to have the character at gear tier nine to be able to use them. Um, which I think is a, it's a decent idea. So that way people aren't using characters that are super low in their roster. It actually encourages you to kind of level people up instead of kind of leaving them behind. Um, it's not going to be great for new players. However, gear tier nine isn't too bad. Yes, the purple gear is going to be painful, but it's not too bad overall. So that's the first one there, the booster draft. If you can see it up on your screen here. And then the second one is a limited draft. It's Battle with limited um, character powers, basically. It says maximum level 65, max gear tier 10. That's really interesting. Um, it's kind of, I don't know. I would like it. I, I like the idea behind it. I like the idea of limiting the characters um, so that way people aren't just coming in with their tier 14 phoenixes and ruffle stomping you. And it kind of makes more of an equal playing ground, um, which I think would be interesting. Um, but it also means that you have to have the characters, obviously, at a certain level above, um, like at that level. Uh, it depends how they end up working it in, though. If it means that, like, if you have a gear 14 Phoenix, you can't use her because she's above this gear tier 10. I don't agree with that. I think it would be better if it kind of scaled them down rather than completely abandoned them um so yeah those are the two that it looks like are coming the booster draft and the limited draft there um if we go over to my roster this is my roster here on msf.gg imported via msf tools shout out to both of those two amazing work um it's a bit buggy at the moment because i have to go through and edit them all because i've only just done it um, but it's like scanned in via roster screenshots. It's amazing. But you can kind of see um, some of these characters down here that I've got. Like they're going to be higher than like, for example, Miss Marvel. Does that mean that my Miss Marvel would be completely disqualified from being used? Um, if that's the case, I don't really agree with it because it means that you're just kind of needing to leave characters at a certain level if you even want to be able to participate in that kind of booster draft. Um, it kind of reminds me of the uh, of like the four red like the red star blitz where if you need to have people at a certain level. I think that would be better rather than. I mean, imagine if there was the red star blitz, but you couldn't partake if your character was above four 
uh, above six yellow stars or something like that. It would just kind of be really annoying. Um, I mean, obviously you'll be able to use the characters from your other, like you'll be able to use characters that you already have. Um, and you'll be able to use the characters that are below that and stuff. But I think that it would be better if they had it. So that way they, uh, scaled your characters down. How that works with like tier fours and stuff like that would be, I'm not sure entirely how that can work, but anyway. I find that really interesting, and I hope you guys find these uh, two different draft modes interesting. Now, keep in mind, again, this is data mined. It's not necessarily coming. Um, we do, do know that next patch, there is meant to be one... Um, there's meant to be a new draft mode coming but whether it ends up being the booster draft which i think i like the idea of a booster draft i like it a lot more um, than the limited draft um the limited draft could work except it needs to kind of be tweaked around i think before i would even bother about it i think the i think the booster draft is something that i'd be looking for since like the start of this game mode in being introduced um but yeah, that's it for today. Um, I hope you guys are interested in these. I really like the idea of them. Um, I'd love to see how they work out. Um, as I said, I've just gone into the files today and had a look and found them. So I thought you guys might like to know, especially seeing as the patch is coming up. We'll know soon within the next couple of days uh, which one ends up getting added. But I'd love to hear down in the comments what you guys think. And if you have any other ideas for different draft modes as well. I think there's lots of cool ideas that they could do uh, where if you have certain characters, like you could bring in only certain characters or stuff like that. I think there's a lot of kind of work that they can do there. But anyway, I hope you guys had a great day. Um, as I said, let me know down in the comments and goodbye.